With 520 miles of shoreline, the waterways that surround and adjoin the five boroughs are among New York City's greatest assets. The Osprey, a vessel equipped with a small laboratory, is used to sample the New York City Harbor waters. Since 1909, DEP has monitored water quality in New York Harbor, the East River, and the Hudson River, and has published the results annually in its New York Harbor Water Quality Report. Most of what the Marine Science Section crew does is collect water samples for the New York Harbor Water Quality Monitoring Program. We collect samples and process them and measure physical and chemical oceanographic parameters. Measuring the, the water quality in the harbor here is important. We want to make sure the waters are safe for swimmers and uh, other people that are using it uh, recreationally. It's also important to keep um, an accurate database of changes in the water so that we can look at things over time. In general, bacteria levels uh, have gotten better in, in many areas of the harbor. And we've seen oxygen levels in a lot of the small tributaries come up as well. This is a seabird, uh, CTD rosette, and uh, we can do a couple things with this instrument. And one of them is we can take samples for water at any depth uh, we want. It's all controlled by an onboard computer. There are many in situ sensors that are located uh, at the bottom of the rosette, and we can get real time, uh, very accurate measurements of salinity, temperature, dissolved oxygen. We get chlorophyll readings, pH, and sunlight penetration, and also water clarity. On a typical sampling day, we'll have seven people on board. Of course, we'll have a captain and the captain has a mate and then we'll have five scientists as part of the crew and basically each scientist is responsible for a different sampling station. DEP collects and analyzes data from a total of 70 sampling stations harbor-wide. Weekly sampling occurs from May through September and monthly from October through April. Over the past decade, the city has invested more than $10 billion to improve water quality in the harbor, which is now the cleanest it has ever been in more than a century of testing.